New clues and evidence emerging about Philip Seymour Hoffman's death and what he said in his final days. Police say he died in a house full of heroin. Dozens of packets of the drug found in his apartment. His family and friends now being questioned. And ABC's Ryan Smith is here with the latest on all this. Good morning, Robin. Good morning, Robin. You know, the details of Philip Seymour Hoffman's recent life paint a picture of a man in conflict. But new information revealed this morning may place investigators one step closer to finding out what really happened in the hours before his death. This morning, police trying to piece together Philip Seymour Hoffman's final days. Don't, don't make me out to be the evil brother who's putting away our father against your will. ABC News has learned that there were roughly 70 baggies of heroin in the Oscar winner's apartment when he was found dead. Five of them used. Police also discovered used syringes and numerous prescription drugs, including anxiety medication and muscle relaxers. Right now, police are looking for the person who sold him those massive quantities of drugs, scouring his cell phone for clues. The Wall Street Journal reports that Hoffman's estranged girlfriend, Mimi O'Donnell, saw him and spoke to him the day before he died and that he appeared high. Hoffman's death striking a chord around the country, even the White House weighing in. It's hard to imagine if you are a fan of incredibly powerful acting that you weren't a fan of. Philip Seymour Hoffman, who was a just remarkable talent. Former co-star and friend Kate Blanchett visited his grieving family Monday. Meanwhile, tabloids report that he was in the throes of a raging heroin addiction. Magazine publisher John Arundel met Hoffman at the Sundance Film Festival just weeks ago. After I asked him who he was and what he did, he said, I'm a heroin addict. And um, I looked at him and took off his hat and I said, oh, you're Philip Seymour Hoffman. Seen here in one of the last photos taken of Hoffman in tintype at the film festival. And this one taken in an Atlanta area bar last week. Authorities continue to investigate the case, hoping to learn more about the death of an acting legend. And Broadway finding a way to honor Hoffman, the three-time Tony Award nominee. On Wednesday night at 7.45 p.m. Eastern Time, the lights on the Broadway marquees will be dimmed in his honor. Meanwhile, autops an autopsy report could come out as early as today. Robin? Thank you, Ryan. Thanks so much. I remember seeing him in Death of a Salesman mm, on Broadway. So powerful. Such a powerful And true West, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, he All lit up that stage. That's a